Hi, in this video we will learn about the scattered charts. Now as the name says scattered charts means the different points should be scattered in your Cartesian plane. Now what I mean to say is with the help of example it would be easy to understand. Now first thing is I am working in the scattered file that's a workbook and the global superstore database and I'll just double click on the sales and I'll double click on the profits. If you observe I have selected two measures that is sales and the profit. So there should be minimum one in the rows, minimum one in the column shelf and then you'll get this scattered plot, scattered chart by market. Right now it is totally empty but there is something which is given at the right hand side in this uh, Cartesian plane which says the total profit and the total sales. So entirely it has been given here. Now if I want to understand different points which are scattered. So let's see if I want to find out how much is the sales and the profit done category wise. So what I'll do is I'll just pick up this option category and I'll drop into this area. And if you observe here I'm getting different symbols. One is something else, the other is third one. How do I understand? On the right hand side is given as legend. Furniture stands for the circle, square stands for the office supplies and plus stands for the technology. Now this is nothing but known as a scatter chart at this place, right? So if I keep my cursor at this place, it says as category is furniture, profit is this much, sales is so and so thing. And the second one, if you see, this is a given as the office supplies, the profit and the sales. If you think you want to increase the size, you can just click on this place and you can increase the size of this points which are given here. If you want to decrease, you can decrease. You want to understand what are these things called as, so you can give them some labels. You can pick up the, the uh, category and you can drop into this labels part. And if you observe, every option has been given some label at this place. If you think I should give some different colors, they all are into blue colors. You can again drop the category and drop into the colors part. So whatever you want to color, I want to color the category. So I'll insert category into the colors part itself. So this is simple method by which you can create a scattered chart. So one in the uh, columns and one in the rows that should be measures, not the dimensions part. Let's see one more example. So if I go here, I'll be creating a scattered chart based on the customer. How much is the sales and profit done based on the customer part? So same method, but, uh, but I'll show you one more method here. So I'll select first sales and select the option as profit. Control click and I've selected two measures. Now I'll just click on this show me button. And in this place, if you observe, there are two charts which are enabled. One is the scattered chart. If you see scattered plots and second one is bar chart here. If you want to create a scattered charts, you need minimum two to four. These are the different measures you need. Zero or more dimensions will work. Right now I have two measures which are selected. So now I can easily select those scattered chart. So I'll just click on this place and the scattered chart is created. Sales versus profit and this is totally empty. Except this one which says total sales and total profit which is given. Now what I want is I want to create a scattered chart based on the customer. So I want to find out which customer has done how much sales. I mean which customer has given me that much profit. So what I have to do is I have to pick up a customer option from here that is the customer name and I have to put into this place. This one option if you see these are the different customers which I have. All these customers which I have. So even if I don't insert here I will just remove this place it is empty now. I will pick up the customer name and if I put in this details part still I will get the same option here. So here if I if I show you what, what exactly it says. If I keep my cursor, the customer name is Tom. He has given me this much profit and he has done sales for me. That, that is 40,488. If I keep my cursor here, it says the customer name is Sanjeet. This is the profit. That's a sales done. So based on the customer, you can create a scattered chart, which would be easy to understand. This would be a bit messy here because there are so many options, which are, you know, many customers are given here. Okay. So what I can do is I can give some labels. If you want, I can give the sales label. I want to understand how much is sales done with the help of labels, pick up sales and drop into these labels. And if you see, these are the sales done by all the customer, not so good into looking. So I'll just remove this sum of sales outside, right? Let's see one more example. I want to create a scattered chart, which should be interactive. That means if I keep on selecting some options, it should change here. I'll first hide this show me button here. I don't want this one. So interactive scattered chart can be created using filters. Let's see now. First, I'll double click on sales. That is the first measure. Second measure is profit and the scattered chart is ready. I'll select some dimensions from here. I'll select market because there are few options in market, not many. So I'll just double click on this market. So now based on the market, if you see these are the different markets I have 
based on the market i can see how much is the sales and profit done if you want to change the shapes you can select this option in the drop down and you can change the shapes from here if i click on this drop down and i'll select some different shape let's say this one assign palette apply okay okay so if you see these are the shapes which are given if it is not visible i'll increase the size select this option increase the size okay so here if you if you see here a stands for africa b stands for asia pacific c stands for europe so here you can understand the sales done by asia pacific is the highest if you see here sales done by asia pacific is the highest profit done by c profit done by europe is the highest so at this place right that is very highest which is given at this place right so now what i was talking about is was how do i create interactive charts so to create interactive charts i have to bring a filter on the right hand side if you remember there is some filter part so what i'll do is i'll select this category click on this drop down and if i select as show filter so here on the right hand side i'll be getting a filter let us try if it is working fine or not so all these options are selected right now i'll delete deselect all the options nothing will come if i select furniture i'm getting all the five options if i select office supplies i'm still getting all the five options and based on that i can see what is going on so if i select here let's say technology in technology the profit done by the asia pacific is the highest for technology if i select office supplies like this for office supplies profit done by the europe is the highest if you see that's a europe given which is highest so based on this option interactive you can find out easily that is interactive filter now in furniture who has done the maximum profit you can see that is nothing but asia pacific so in uh, in the furniture you have the maximum profit here so it's easy to understand with the help of this interactive charts also right interactive filter let's see one more now i'll i'll show you how to work on the drop lines sometimes it is difficult to understand like this one how much is the exact sales done or how much is the exact profit done so what i can do is i can use this option as scattered chart that is drop lines what i mean to say is let me first create a chart double click on sales double click on profit i'm getting a scattered chart double click on market i'm getting the market sales versus profit i'll increase the size like this now i want to understand exact what is the sales done exact what is the profit got so what i can do is i can right click on any one drop line uh, any one option here let's say i'll right click on this b option and select the option as drop lines and i'll select as show drop lines so what is drop line if i select show drop lines whenever you click any option on the scattered chart any point it will show your drop line and exactly you can figure out how much it is obviously it is difficult to figure out how much exactly it is but still if i click on this f if you see there's a drop line which is created vertical horizontal if i keep my cursor at d vertical horizontal you can understand here now if you observe the profit is given at uh, 221643 that is the amount now profit is given at this place if you see the vertical axis sales is given in the horizontal axis that is given at this place if i want the numbering at this place suppose if i want the labels part again so what i can do is i can just right click on this place select this drop lines and edit drops first of all these are the drop lines which are given edit drop lines and what i want is if i want the labels which are given as none i'll say as automatic select as automatic click on okay so now if you see i'm getting the labels for the scattered points select this one i'm getting the labels it is easy very very easy to understand the sales and the profit which are done for this options here select this one sales and profit visible now sometimes you don't want the both x and y axis this one you don't want the sales and you don't want the profit all together sometimes you want only one so what i can do is right click again select the option as drop lines edit drop lines and then i can select as drop to x axis or y axis which one do you want i'll say i want only for y axis i don't want for x axis i'll select as okay now if you see i'm getting only for y axis select this one only for y axis select this option only for y axis so it's very easy for me now there's one option when you click only give me the drop line at that time suppose if i click on this place i'm getting a drop line only for one and only when i select that what if i want drop line always for everything so right click on this place select this drop lines edit drop lines 
and here it says when do you want the drop lines do you want always or do you want only when it is selected so i'll say i want always the drop lines even if i don't select i want it always click on okay now if you see for all the options i'm getting the drop lines here i'm getting a drop lines i'm getting the values these are the labels and only for the y axis i'm getting i'm not getting for the x axis so this is nothing but known as scatter chart how do you use in the uh, drop lines which are given here so i hope you able to understand different things which are used in scatter chart what we have seen is one is by order priority the customer the interactive how do we make it and the last one which you have seen is nothing but drop lines that's all for this video